Hi everybody, this is Chris Lattner at V Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the batch export feature built into Starship 12. This would go hand in hand with the batch import feature if you wanted to get data out of Starship after you've processed your records. This is a way to get all of those tracking numbers, the freight cost, any detail from the shipment out of Starship so that you could update your ERP. And this would be separate from any real-time write-back that we have with the various ERP interfaces. This can also be a useful tool if you wanted to extract records from Starship to update any other external systems, such as your CRM database, a shopping cart, or maybe a customer portal. So to get started with this setup, you're going to want to navigate to the Tools menu and get into Shipment Export. And from here, you're going to create your export file. I've already created one here, so we're going to just edit that and take a look at it. You're going to give it a unique name, and you can automatically export this detail on post. So whenever you run your end-of-day routine, Starship will gather all the data, the various fields that you set up in your export, and dump that out to a file automatically. And this can either be a comment limited file or a tab-separated file. You're going to browse here to the path where you want to dump the results somewhere out on the network. This can either be done uh, on a daily basis and append a running log file of all the detail that you want to get out of Starship, or it can be done on an overwriting basis where it'll create a new file each and every time that you post. You can pick whatever type of carriers and transactions you want to export, and then you're going to pick the different fields, and you have the different data here organized into groups. You go through and select the different fields that you want to get out of Starship. So I've selected these here. And then you're going to pick the order of appearance where you want those fields to show up in your results. And you can easily move these around. Once you've got that set up the way you want, you go ahead and say OK to that. And you can have multiple sets of exports. So if you have different customers that you need to provide the results to different databases, you can have different formats and you can pick those whenever you need to do the export. We'll go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go through the posting procedure now to create the file. So at your end of day, you're going to click on Close Shipments. That will bring up all of your records here. And you can post these individually by account, or you can post them all together. I'll go ahead and click on Post here. That will upload all of my records to my carriers, close out that batch of records, and at the same time, it's going to create that batch file. Once your batch file has been created, you can navigate to the directory where you saved that. Go ahead and open it up, and then you can see all the results will be output here. You can open this up and access SQL, Excel, any other database that you want to import this to. That's batch exporting for Starship 12.